Hello everyone, so this is July 24, 2022, and this is the beautiful pink striped okra moth that hatched out the day before. So she started laying on fertilized eggs now, and she just lays them all over the place, maybe while she's flying, or while she vibrates and prepares to fly. So yesterday, all she did is flapped her wings until she was at the edge of the bed, and she kind of flew off of the bed. So it was kind of a flight, because instead of falling straight to the ground, she did do a flight downward, and she just laid another unfertilized egg. But it was a flight straight to the ground. So now she's been flying actually upward and not straight to the ground. She's actually been flying around now. So she's been doing quite good at flying. See if I can get her to fly for you. Isn't she a cute fuzzy little moth? Just look at her little face. So cute. There she goes. See? She's actually flying around now. So she's doing really good. I'm going to hopefully release her into Bryson Park and hopefully she gets to breed and mate so that she can lay some fertilized eggs. And the little thing she does, turning her head side to side. Sorry, camera's not actually focusing. It's super cute. See, isn't it cute? So cute. So I'm going to take her and put her into the net that she emerged in. Okay, everyone, so this is the cute fuzzy oak worm moth. She's preparing to fly, and that's the net that she hatched in, so let's put her in there before she starts flying all over the place. Oh, she just fell off my finger. So let's zip it up and get heading to Bryson Park. Okay, everyone, so now I'm getting out of the car, and I'm going to release this moth. And so, it's always kind of sad saying goodbye to them when you only have them for one day. But it's, I mean, I just have to release them because I don't want them to die. And I really don't want any other of my moths to have the same ending as Polyphemus Moth 3. That was really sad because for some reason she couldn't fly away and I took her outside. And then she got weak to the point she could only fly in front of her heater. So, yeah, I hope, I don't want that to happen to any other of the moths. So let's get ready to release her and hopefully she does okay. So this is the oak tree that I'm going to be releasing this beautiful moth on. Just the same oak tree I found her when she was a caterpillar on. So let's get ready to let her go. So, she's for the first time feeling the outdoors. Oh, 
Well, there she goes. So everyone, I was trying to move her and put her on the oak leaf, but it looks like she has her own plans. So let's see what she does. There she goes. Wow. I'm not very sure she went. She's flying up. She was flying up past those trees and she went. She was going into the pine trees. And I thought, I looked into the sky because I thought she was going to fly past that and I was going to see her, but I didn't see her. So she must have landed somewhere. Anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And let's hope that she stays safe day and night from hungry predators because there's predators out that like to eat innocent moths and butterflies because they're so harmless. So let's hope that she does very good in the wild and let's hope that when she dies that she dies with her goal complete, her goal of breeding. And hopefully when she dies her eggs, her fertilized eggs will be on the oak tree and that they'll hatch into more caterpillars so that there will be more oakworm moths. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Bye.